said, you know what? The funny thing is, I said, you know what's hilarious? I said, it's so funny because your boyfriend been cheating on you with your best friend this entire time. Yeah? I said, yeah. You want to tell my business? Oh, I told your boyfriends. Period. Period. Mind you, it was their six month anniversary that day, too. F your six month anniversary. Because you got me messed up. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's Uncle Black Child here and your who, your little babies. And I'm who? I'm Uncle Black Child. I just told you what the hell. And you who must subscribe? Not subscribe. Girl, you a local hater. And that's facts, no wet. And that's facts, no wet. And that's facts, no print. To our, our. So let's get started. All right. So this third time is going to be about the thickest friend ever. But technically, she wasn't really my friend. She was more of like a, a, a coincidence or like a like a mutual type situation but i'm gonna say friends for the sake of the video because who the hell want to keep saying acquaintance all video not me so i'm not gonna say it so i'm gonna just call her the thickest friend ever so basically oh my god i just threw up in my mouth a little bit oh my god every time i'm gonna burp it's throw up hold on all right i'm i don't know what that was but all right i'm back so basically what happened was i'm, I'm gonna put it in perspective and then get into the real story time so basically Every Thursday and Saturday night, me and my boyfriend used to go to the bar. And it would be me, him, his best friend, and his other friend. So it was three guys and one girl. So it was me, him, his friend, and his two friends, basically. And I was cool with that because, one, I never really, like, as a girlfriend, I never had been brought around my significant other's friends. And I like that because, like, in my one relationship, like... He never really brought me around his friends. That kind of hurt my feelings because it's like, are you embarrassed of me? Like, are you not, like, what's going on? Like, I was always like, why haven't I met your friends? Like, what's going on? Like, I was, I'm not going into all that. But I was happy that he was bringing me around his friends because, like, he must really like me enough to bring him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So every Thursday and Saturday night, we was really going to the bar. It'd be me and my boyfriend then his two friends would be flirting with other girls but me and my boyfriend would be in our own little world like we'd be drunk as hell off the henny off the jack we'd be dancing we'd be grinding in the middle of the floor like it would be crazy and then we look over and the two boys was always flirting with two girls like whatever that was the night for like months like we that was always our thursday night for months because like thursdays at thirsty thursdays at college campuses so like drinks are cheap as hell so we took advantage of that thirsty thursday so thirsty thursday went on for like a long ass time and then one night one of the friends, his best friend, so it was my boyfriend, his best friend, and his friend. So, like, his best friend's sister had a birthday party at one of the bars. So, basically, she rented out one of the bars on a Saturday night and, like, had free drinks. Like, it was full, I think. And then, like, a DJ. Like, it was cool as shit. So, we all went there. It was still as tip our typical Saturday night, but it was just, like, people that they all knew because they all went to high school together but me so i didn't really know nobody but a lot of people they knew was there the sister was there her, her family and friends was there whatever so we all of course still drunk off the handy drunk off the jack had fun at the bar and shit and we look over and we see my boyfriend best friend flirting with this girl we're like, okay like but then they start getting a little close we're like okay then they started getting a little, little really close we was like okay like what's going on he come back over and was like, oh, y'all, like, this is the, um, such and such. Let's call her B. He like, oh, this is B. Like, we went to high school together. Like, we used to date in high school for a little bit. And my boyfriend was like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember her, like, a little bit from high school. And she's like, yeah, I remember you. I remember you to my boyfriend. I'm like, oh, God, like, you're being Joe, but, like, whatever. She's like, I remember you from high school. You don't remember me? You don't remember me? He's like, no. And I'm like, period. Like, he don't remember you. Like, get out his face. Like, what? I'm just like, okay. Like, get out his face. Like, she's like, what? You don't remember me? You don't remember me? I was like, okay. So that being said they all kind of knew each other from high school or whatever like that so ever since then him b and the best friend had been like talking and chatting like rekindling their old flame i guess so we start we keep going out like our typical like i said that typical thursday saturday we're still going out the best friend still flirting with other girls the other boys still flirting with other girls but some nights he would bring b out with us still but of course he wouldn't be flirting with other girls because now b there so she would be there, but I always felt weird around her. Like, like I used to be the only girl hanging out with them, which I'm fine with, whatever. But, like, now it's another girl. So all the boys are being cool, but it was, like, always some weird tension between us as if, like, it was, like, a competition to see who's the cooler girl. Like, I don't got to have...
have a conversation, but she was always like giving me weird looks. Like the vibe was weird. I was trying to make conversation with her. She would not really want to like. She wouldn't be intrigued in conversation with me. We'd be in the car. She'd be dead silent. I'd be kiki ki, and then she would. I'm the vibe was just always very weird. So, oh, did something just pop off my nail? I had no gems on this. So I don't know what had popped off, but so eventually, like I swear to God, y'all, it wasn't even like two months later. My boyfriend told me that B and the best friend started living together, and I'm like, whoa, that was quick. That was it was only been like two months, and then B, and my my boyfriend was like to me, well, honestly, he's only living with her because she's letting him live with her for free, and I'm like, that's weird as hell. Like, she was she's like twenty, turned twenty five, and he's like twenty three, but my thing is, why are you letting some man live with you for free? Like, apparently she had her own little apartment. Um, he had just got, well, he had no real living situation. So, he took a, he was taking advantage, basically, of her to live for free, rent-free. That's what my boyfriend had told me. He was like, yeah, he don't really, like, he don't really mess with her like that for, for real. Like, he thinks she cool and stuff, but, like, he's not really feeling her, but he's kind of using her for rent. And I'm like, damn, that's a bad joint. And my boyfriend was like, yeah, that's a bad joint. So, keep, keep that sit forward. My boyfriend come to tell me like, yeah, they're always having problems. I was just over there, um, at their well, he was like, I was just over there at their house, like chilling with them for a little bit, talking to them, basically because he wanted to see his best friend. But now that the best friend lived with the girlfriend, B, he's he, my boyfriend would have to go to their house now, not just the best friend house, but it would be their house, so she would be there. You know what I'm saying? So he'd be like, yeah, she'd be asking me questions like, do I cheat on you and stuff? I'm like, why would she be asking you if you cheat on me? Like, no, you don't cheat on me. And why is she asking that? He's like, I don't know. She just keeps asking us me questions about our relationship, trying to be nosy. I'm like, I don't like that. Like, already that girl's giving me weird vibes. Now she's asking me about my relationship and if my my, my man cheat on me. Like, I was like, all right, that's kind of uncomfortable to know that she's going behind my back asking my man these questions. But when I get up in her and I get hanging out with her, she don't got nothing to say to me. Like, why are you so worried about me for when you got nothing to say to me when we're together? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought that was weird. So he like, yeah, she weird, she weird. So time go by. Some nights she would come out to the bar with us. Some nights she wouldn't. But the night she wouldn't, her boyfriend would be flirting with mad girls there with the other friend. Like, it was back to me, my boyfriend, his best friend, his other friend. He'd be back on his bullshit, like, flirting with other girls, but not doing it when she there. And I'm like, all right, this situation is weird. So one day, my boyfriend come to me talking about some, oh, yeah, like, this is really bad. Because I don't want you to think I'm the bad person because I'm hanging out with him. And I don't want you to think my morals are messed up because I'm hanging out with him. But my best friend's cheating on me. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, cheating on B? He's like, he's like, yes. Like, he's sleeping with other, other girls, cheating on her. And I'm like, damn, that's messed up because she's letting her, him live there for free and stuff. She, He like, yeah, like, they're both dumb. And she was like, yeah, my best friend done from doing that because that can get him in trouble with her. And he wouldn't be homeless, literally. And also, that's that's disrespectful. And he says, also dumb of her because, like, we letting him live there rent free. And the whole thing just messed up. And I'm like, yeah, with my boyfriend, we just talking our little shit. And we're like, yeah, like, that's crazy. That's crazy. He's like, yeah, that's crazy. So then my boyfriend, he telling me T, he be telling me T. He came back and was like, Gab, yeah, like, you're not gonna believe this shit. I'm like, what? So he's like, apparently my best friend's not only cheating on B, but he's also cheating on her with her best friend. I was like, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, how is that even possible? And he said, apparently one night at the bar, like, B had left them together. Like, I guess the best friend was third willing. And and the best friend left B, like B had left them to go to the bathroom, and then the best friend started flirting with her man. They exchanged numbers. Now they they doing the do. I'm like, what? And apparently in her house, I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. I'm like, this is T. Like he like, yeah, this is messed up. So again, we all go to the bar. I Uber to my boyfriend house, and um. B and his and my wife and best friend is gonna come pick us up to go to the bar. So we go get in the car, and guess who there, y'all? B best friend, the girl who her boyfriend cheating on her with. I said, not only did this man have the audacity to cheat on his girl, who is literally paying his rent, but he bringing the best friend along with us. We was like, me and my boyfriend was like, yo, in the back, we was like, yo. Like, we was kind of drunk, too. We was like, yo, da, da, da. Like, this is insane. This is crazy to me. Like, this is insane. 
so the girl the best friend of B, the girl best friend is they're like chatting she's real hood like mind you none of us none of us are hood but she was not just hood she was like a hood rat like just real ratchet real nasty like so me and my boyfriend was like this is who he been cheating her with like cheating already wrong but like are you kidding me? Like, me and my... Because he never met the girl he was cheating on him with, obviously. So, me and my boyfriend, like, is he kidding me? Like, this dirty hood rat, he's cheating on this girl. But, like, this is nasty. So, we all out at the bar. I don't know if B is blind or something, but her best friend was all up on her man all night. And me and my boyfriend was like, oh, my God, like, this is ghetto. We need to get out of here. Like, we do not like to be, be in between this. Like, this has got nothing to do with this. Like, I don't want to be here. I, was, I don't want to be here. This is so uncomfortable for me. And this is weird as hell. So, yeah, it was weird as hell. And I was like, wow, that's messed up. And, like, I started side-eyeing my boyfriend because I'm like, okay, you're hanging out with this man who's cheating on his girl with his best friend. Like, what are you doing? Like, I know, like, the saying, birds of the same feather flock together. But then I also know that, like, not nah, you don't, just because, like, your friends doing something don't mean you be doing it. Because I've had friends that do stuff, not cheating, but stuff I don't like and I wouldn't be taking part in it. But, like, I don't know. I just, I just, I felt uncomfortable because I'm just, like, is his best friend influencing him to cheat on me too? Like, what does he be saying when we be going through arguments? Like, do we be telling him to leave me and cheat on me? I don't know. So, I just start getting real skeptical. So, me and my boyfriend didn't speak for, like, a month, right? I had no contact with him for, like, a month and a half. And I had nothing to do with him. Like, we didn't follow him on social media. We didn't talk. We didn't text. We didn't call each other. Nothing. So, I didn't know where he was. So, we started chatting again. And he told me he moved to another city. Which I'm not gonna tell y'all. I'm not gonna tell y'all details like that for for. But he moved to another city, so I'm like, you moved like really? It, it was it was still close to me. Which I'm like, all right, cool. But he's like, yeah, I moved, and I also moved with B and my best friend. So I was like, hold the phone. So you telling me you moved in with your best friend and the girl he's cheating on? Like, okay. So, one, I already think it's weird to live with your best friend and his girl. But not only are you doing that, you're living with your best friend and his girl knowing that he's cheating on him. And this is messy as hell. You knew the situation was messy as hell. And you're still, like, entertaining this by living with them. Like, what is going on here? What in the what is going on here? I didn't say that to him because we just got, got back cool. So, I was kind of just like, uh, that was weird as hell. But, like, whatever. So I started always going over there. I would see B and her boyfriend. I'd be like, oh, what's up? I wouldn't say too much to them. Um, I would go up to the room and me and my boyfriend would be chatting. I keep all night, like drinking and whatever, like watching TV. It'd be it was really fun. But then stuff started getting kind of like friendly. So me always being at that house, I kind of was like, Well, since the boys are chatting, I might as well chat with the girl, I'm not gonna be in your her house and like not chatting with her. So we started chatting one, one a little bit. So my boyfriend would go to work and it would just be me and her in the house because her boyfriend was at work too. And like I don't have like a job job and like and it's summer, so like school was out and everything. So I kind of was just in the house or whatever, and I would be like you know watching YouTube and working on my business. And I remember I was hungry. And I had gotten a DM from her from, she only was down the hall, but I had gotten a DM from her. How she knew my Instagram, I don't know. But she had DM me and was like, hey, do you want me to order you a breakfast sandwich? And I'm like, sure, like, I'll take bacon and your cheese. She said, okay, girl, I'm about to order it for you, whatever. So we got the breakfast, I got the breakfast sandwich from her. I was like, thank you so much. Like, I was like, dude, how much I owe you? She's like, girl, no problem. Don't worry about it. Like, you just got it. I'm like, thank you. So ever since then, we've been kind of like, cool. So every time I would come over, I'll pop my head in, in her room. Like, oh my God, hey, B, how you doing? Da -da -da. And I low-key always felt bad that I knew her boyfriend was cheating on her. Like, because I'm the type of girl, when I find out some boy is cheating on someone I know, I would obviously tell them. But I just couldn't because, one, it would mess up my boyfriend living situation. Because what if she want to break the lease? And now, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I didn't want there to be animosity in the house if I was to tell her. And then it, was just, it would be too messy. Like, I didn't want it to be weird between my boyfriend and his best friend. Because I'm not sure what the best friend knew my boyfriend was telling me these things. So, it was just a whole, like, weird series of events. So, I was like, all right, I'm not going to say nothing. My boyfriend was always like, please don't say nothing. Like, don't say another word. Like, don't say another word. I'm like, I'm not going to say another word. Like, I'm not going to say nothing, I promise. I don't even plan to get close with this girl anyway to be that close to telling her stuff like that. So, I was like, no, don't worry about me, whatever. So, let's see. Okay, so then 
one time again my boyfriend had went to work her boyfriend has this like grown man ass job he be traveling he be at work like for a long ass time he be going to different states and staying there for like months at a time which is already shady because they're already cheating probably have a whole family and kids so i'm like this girl i feel bad for her but I had started chatting with her a little bit more. And one time we had all went to dinner. And it was it was cool. I'm like, okay, like this girl actually isn't that bad. And I had told her, I was like, no, I had told, um, what did I tell her? When we started getting a little cool, I was telling her, I was like, um, when I had first met you, I had like some weird vibes. Like, I felt like you didn't like me. Like, I'm glad that I got to know you more because, like, I just felt like it was weird. She's like, girl, no, like, I was just shy. And she was like, every time I seen you, me and my boyfriend was getting into it. So I was kind of quiet the whole time. She's like, I, she was like, I was worried that you're going to think I didn't like you. But, like, really, I it was not like that. Like, I like you, but it's just that, like, I was always in a bad mood whenever you was, you was there, like, a coincidence. I'm like, okay, like, whatever. So, and I still thought she was weird for asking my boyfriend that he'd be cheating on me and, like, stuff like that. I'm just like, all right, this girl's weird, but I might as well get along with her if I'm always going to be in the house with him anyway, like, visiting and shit. So, one day, she had asked me, the boys, my boyfriend had went wherever he went. Her boyfriend was away, so it was us two again in the house. She was like, do you want to do something? And what did we do? Hold on. Oh, yeah, I was like, sure. So, we ended up going to brunch, this real cute place called Sabrina's in Philly. And we was eating brunch together, like, on some real cool stuff. And she started just spilling the beans. And I'm like, okay, okay, hold up. She started telling me about how um, she's, like, she's not really happy with her boyfriend. How he's loyal, but she just feel like, I don't, like, she said she just feel like she's not appreciated, but he's loyal. And she was telling me how her mom liked him and told her that she needed to keep him around because he's a good man. And she was telling me how her ex-girlfriend be texting her and she meet her up being up with her at work. She started going in about how um her ex there's a boy that be hitting her up that she wanna talk to because he got money and wanna spoil her, but she loved her boyfriend, so she's not gonna talk to him. She was like telling me the anniversary was coming up. She was just telling me all this tea, how she don't wanna do the do with him because she said like, she gets annoyed by him. And stuff like that. So she be like not having mm, with him and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, this is a lot because I'm just not really sitting down talking to you and you're already telling me all this stuff. So she's like, what, what about you and your boyfriend? And I was like, I mean, we're good. You know, we just got back cool. So we kind of taking things slow. Like we're together, but like we just like, you know, we're just on some real cool shit right now. I was like, there's nothing really to say. Like, I'm not about to tell you like teeth for real, for real. And so I made the mistake of getting too comfortable and told her like one t which i just feel like it wasn't nothing that no one really didn't know but i kind of just like, opened up to her because i'm like this girl's opening up to me like crazy and i'm not going to her business obviously uh to her boyfriend or no one you know so i was like i told her something about my relationship but it wasn't nothing that i didn't know that my boyfriend didn't know it wasn't like that so she was telling me stuff her boyfriend didn't even know so if i was to tell her boyfriend he would be like oh that's the news to me but i told her one thing that my boyfriend already knew about and like we already worked out but i was telling her about it and how it made me feel whatever it was something real it was something that like it was it was big but like it wasn't like my boyfriend didn't know if that makes sense so we were just eating eating and then we stopped eating we had ended up going thrift shopping she was like i'm so glad i found another friend she was like you don't understand like how hard it is living with a, my boyfriend and his best friend like she was like they would have cookouts without me they'd be smoking without me they would invite me down to smoke she'd be like they would eat without me like they would be just like chatting it up they would like act like i was invisible da -da -da. and i'm like damn that's crazy i said like, yeah i couldn't imagine living with my boyfriend and his best friend like that, that must be like a, a lot for you she's like yeah it's a lot like i'd be getting really sad sometimes i'm like damn i said well i'll be around so you got me to talk to like and you know i won't be telling your boyfriend that i don't even know your boyfriend like that like i wouldn't even y'all like i didn't like i would hang out with her boyfriend because it would be me my boyfriend and her boyfriend but like i didn't follow him on social media didn't have his number didn't have nothing to do with him didn't even barely know his last name didn't have conversation with him outside of my boyfriend like, it was never like that mind you this girl followed my boyfriend on instagram has his number obviously because they share a house but like she follows him she i don't know we went thrift shopping we oop my joint said it got 20 percent left we went to target we was on some real cool stuff but then she started telling me stuff about my boyfriend as if I didn't know. Like, she was like, oh, yeah, like, he told me about his personality. Like, yeah, he's real cool, but, like, this, that, and a third. And 
he did this, he did that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and I'm like, okay, like, I already knew all this, but it's the fact that you're trying to tell me about my boyfriend, like, I know, I don't know about him. Like, I knew him way longer than you did, and, like, I don't, pre I was just feeling kind of feeling weird about that. I forgot to tell y'all this one part, but it was this time we were at brunch and, or, like, at her house. I forget where we were, but she was like, I was talking to the boys, and she just kept referring to them as the boys. And I'm like, ew, like, this is not giving. But she was like, oh, I talked to the boys. And we were talking about giving each other our location. Like, and they, the boys kept saying, like, they would never give no girl their location. And they just think it's so dumb. And, like, they would never do that. So I was like, oh, yeah. So then I was like, oh, ha, ha, so funny. So then I went home and shared my location with my boyfriend. And he shared it right back. And then when I hung out with her the next time, I was like, oh, yeah. And my boyfriend shared his location with me. She was like, what? Oh my god, like he was just saying he would never do that. And I was like, well, he did so. Like, are you, why are you so pressed? So when I got back to the house, I was like, I had fun with you. And I went right back to my boyfriend's room. So we like stayed in the room all night, ordered food. And he's like, oh, how was your brunch with B? I'm like, yeah, it was cool. He like, what did y'all talk about? Like, what? And I'm like, nothing. And he's like, tell me, tell me. And you know when it comes to a boo thing, you be like this, but then you be like this. Because, like, I do be spilling the beans, but, like, it wasn't like I was telling her boyfriend about what she was saying about him. I more so was telling him the stuff she was saying about her boyfriend. So, okay, maybe that was wrong, but, like, once I tell what she did, you're going to be like, okay, no, you weren't wrong. So, of course, I was talking about, I was like, yeah, she was saying, like, this and that and the third. And I was like, I was just kind of feeling uncomfortable because she was spilling the beans about a lot of stuff that, like, I don't know, that maybe I shouldn't have known. Oh, and she was also telling me how she wants to have a baby, but I don't think her boyfriend knows this, but she was telling me how she wants to have a baby. And I told my boyfriend that, I was, and she, he was like, a baby? He said, oh, yeah, my best friend definitely don't know about that. And that's crazy because, like, what? They're, like, only 24. I mean, she's 25, but, like, he's 23, and it's, like, a baby. And then my boyfriend was, like, if she get pregnant, I got to find a way out of here. I'm not going to be living in the house with my best friend, his, his girlfriend, and a baby. I'm, like, I know that would be crazy. Like, she was going in about how she wants a baby and stuff. Like, she would she would be happy if she got pregnant, and I'm, like, okay. Like, she, I was asking her, like, does your boyfriend know this? He, she was, like, mm, I'm like, okay. But, yeah, so my boyfriend was, like, what were you telling her about us? And mind you, I told the girl one thing, but I didn't tell him I told her. I was like, oh, nothing. He was like, you're lying. You didn't tell her nothing. I'm like, no, I didn't tell her nothing. He's like, okay. So, whatever. The week go by. We good. We on good terms. Everyone's cool in the house. Whatever, whatever. We have 4th of July. And me and my boyfriend get into it on 4th of July. And we get into it bad, mind you. I think B and her boyfriend are outside when we're, like, screaming and shouting at each other. Mind you. They were really inside the house the whole time, so they ho they heard us arguing on Fourth of July, um, and we, me and my boyfriend had broke up. So we haven't been talking, but B had reached out to me and was like, "Hey, like the next day was like, and everything okay with you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, everything's cool. Like me and my boyfriend broke up, but like I'm cool." I said, "You cool?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm cool." She said, "You want to get brunch tomorrow?" I'm like, "I mean, sure. Like, what's brunch? Like, it's nothing but a thing." I was like, "Sure, that's cool." So she was like, all right. So I am getting ready for brunch. And my boyfriend's texting me. Mind you, we're not together no more. But he's just like, we're arguing, arguing, arguing. I'm like, all right, I'm so over to arguing. So I stopped responding to him. So I go to pick her up from her house. And we go out to brunch. So we're at brunch. And she's just like, what's going on with you and your boyfriend? Like, what's going on? She's like, girl. Um, she was like, what happened on 4th of July? Like, you stormed out, and that, and we were just confused about what happened. So, I started telling her what had happened. She's like, girl, I know. I saw the whole thing. I was downstairs the whole time. So, I was like, hold the phone. Like, you just told me you didn't know that me and my boyfriend was arguing and what happened. But now you're telling me that you was out. You were out. You were downstairs the whole time, and you heard the whole thing. She's like, oh, yeah. Like, we heard the whole thing. And me and my boyfriend ran to the living room to listen to. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What? She's like, yeah. So then she started, like, telling me about what my boyfriend was saying when I wasn't there and asking me questions. And I'm telling her stuff. And I'm like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just like, this is weird. Because she starts telling me things about myself that I never told her before. Do you? Has it ever happened to you guys before? Like you're, like, you're talking to someone. And they start telling you stuff that you've never told anyone but one person. So you're like, hold on, hold on. How did you get this information? So she started telling me stuff about myself that I only told my boyfriend. And I'm like, hold on. I said, y'all be talking? 
She's like, no, me and him, we do not talk for real. Like, it's more high and bottom. I go to my room and my boyfriend be in the room. Like, we do not really be talking. And my boyfriend said the same thing. He was like, I'll barely be talking to her. So like, this is this is this is getting weird. So at the brunch, I just shut the hell up. I stopped talking. I let her keep talking or whatever. But we had a good brunch, but I just started to stop telling her stuff. But she's still spilling the beans on her relationship. And so I'm like, oh my god, this girl can't shut the fuck up. So we end up going back home. And my boyfriend, well, boyfriend ex texts me like do you know that she's been literally telling me since day one all the stuff you've been saying about me? She was she was like, um, he said, at this point, we might as well all sit in a room and talk shit about each other because she's been coming to me every time we say something and telling me everything you've been saying. And same with you. She no, and I guess he was telling her something like that. Like apparently this whole entire time that I was hanging out with her, the two brunch times, the thrift shop, the whole car rides, Target, all that, she was telling him everything I was saying. Mind you, nothing was made up. Nothing was nothing he didn't know, but this girl been telling my boyfriend everything I was saying about our relationship to, to him. So I was like, oh my God. Mind you, nothing was a lie. Nothing was made up. Nothing was, nothing was like, nothing he didn't know. So like, it wasn't like crazy, but it's still like, mind you, during our brunch, she was like, oh, just to let you know, like you can confide in me. I wouldn't go and tell nothing you're saying. She said, what, what's between us, stay between us? I didn't ask her that, but she just made it a point to tell me that. But it's like, look at her. Like, whole time, this girl has been running to my boyfriend and telling him what I was saying. Like, this whole thing is weird as hell. Mind you, her boyfriend's about to leave for two months, and it's about to be my boyfriend and her in the house together. And I'm like, this is some weird shit. I need to get out when I, while I can. And so he was like, yeah, I hate you. Like, stay out of my life. Da -da -da -da. Don't come around the house no more. Stop hanging out with her. You're not allowed to hang out with her no more. Stop hanging out with my best friend's girl. And stay, leave, stay out of my life. Stay out of our life. All this. And I was like, all right, cool. So I cussed her out. And I was like, F you for going behind my back and telling my mans about what I'm saying while we're at brunch. Mind you, I could have been telling your boyfriend that you was going to have a kid on him. Trap him. How you don't like to have with him and you be teasing him and all this crazy stuff she was saying to me about him i don't even know your mans like i don't even know him good enough to even follow him on the gram but you're already telling my mans what i'm saying i said you know what the funny thing is i said no what's hilarious i said it's so funny because your boyfriend's been cheating on you with your best friend this entire time yeah i said yeah you want to tell my business oh i told your boyfriends period period and I could have told him that she wanted to mess with some boy who wanted to take her on a date. Talk about, like, yeah, it's this boy I'm trying to give a chance because he be trying to take me out and spoil me. But my boyfriend doesn't do the same thing. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, okay, your boyfriend been cheating on you this whole time. Mind you, it was their six month anniversary that day, too. F good six month anniversary. Because you got me messed up. It was dark outside, the light went out. But you got me messed up. Like, what? And mind you, the same day, we're at the Pandora store. Get, I'm, I bought this ring. It was like $25 for rings at Pandora for some odd reason. It was like a sale or something. And this girl is crying to me about how her boyfriend don't do shit for her. She didn't get her a Valentine's Day gift, a birthday gift, a, a anniversary gift, nothing. And she, like, was trying to be petty and had bought, like, rings. Asked him for money. He said no. And she posted it on her store on her story was like gift to myself treat yourself lol or something like that like she was just she was sick she's 25 acting like a child and she was just crying to me about her boyfriend does nothing for her and it's her six month anniversary and she gotta buy her own rings all this crazy stuff like girl you're messy you're messy like i'm cool if you're telling your boyfriend stuff like about me i don't really care about all that but it's the fact that you're going straight directly to my man telling him what he was saying about me like what so i was like you know what f all y'all f the boy f you f your boyfriend now you all living in the house together if you stuck on a lease now and you know your boyfriend was shitting on you and my boyfriend knew and you're smiling in your face acting like you dumb because you are dumb i mean now you stuck in the house dummy with two men two grown-ass men who knew you was gonna cheat on by your best friend you're dumb like don't ever cross me like i'm just like girls that like, mind you again like i would have told this girl if she was my friend if it wouldn't mess up my man's living situation but it's the fact that i was cool like, i was not going to her man telling her, like, i was barely telling my boyfriend this really crazy stuff she was saying i was telling her like him like general shit but i'm like you was tell me i can confide in you and shit mind you i wasn't even telling her nothing crazy i didn't care that she told for real, for real. it was the fact that she told i didn't care what she told because I ain't really barely said nothing to her anyway about nothing. But it was like she was still telling her. 
telling him my boyfriend what i was doing like what, what i was saying like that's weird and like what like and i remember when i dropped her off she said i'm gonna tell your boyfriend that y'all need to talk and that you, you guys are both wrong and i said we don't need to tell him nothing like she was also be in the middle of me and my boyfriend I'm like what is your problem even from day one when she was like do you cheat on her why you don't cheat on her like weird ass female like, i'm like oh my god so yeah that's the end of the story so i don't talk to none of them no more f her f him f the best friend they all weird as hell and i suck in the least like Perry, you got me fucked up. Like, girl, please. Like, you thought you a bitch. I devour. Like, <laughs> you got me bet if you thought you was one up in me or something. Like, you was jealous of me. And when I was hanging out with her, I had on this cute ass dress, y'all. When I tell you, like, 30 people, okay, now, like, 20 people complimented me that day and they said shit to her, I genuinely felt like she was jealous. Like, she would get this look. She'd be like, Whenever someone would compliment me, like everyone was like, Oh my god, girl, you are so freaking cute. Everyone kept stopping me because I had this dress on. Everyone like was stopping me. It was like, Oh my god, that's the cutest dress I've ever seen in my life. And she was just like, One girl was, like, Oh, you're cute too. But like, girl, you were really cute. And she was like, I'm I just think that girl was jealous of me. I don't know what her problem was, but like, I mean, she thought she ruined my relationship, girl. You are living with two men who knew you was getting cheated on with the rest of your friends. So that's salty as hell, and you thought you ate. So that's the end of the video of my fake acquaintance slash friend slash whatever fuck whatever the hell excuse my language she thought she was to me but they can all eat shit and go to hell. So that's the end of the freaking video. I hope you liked it. I know I was talking a lot. I mean that's what the story time is, but whatever. So like the video, comment on what the hell you thought, like what what's your little opinion, viewpoint, whatever. Um Com um subscribe follow me on instagram local black child and shop my brand hello black child i got one of the jumpsuit right now but shop my brand hello black child and i will see you guys in my next freaking video hopefully it's on a fake friend video because i don't be having no new friends anyway like i stick with my two girls chelsea and za my friend Monty, my friend day my friend mira other than that, like, I don't really talk to nobody for real because everyone fake as shit, obviously. And, like, don't got you in your best interest. So, just be careful who you hang around. And I should have known because that girl was weird from a jump. She always seemed like she was jealous of me or something like that. But weird, 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 female. Mind you, she was trying to make plans with me, like, months in advance. She, she was talking about something. We should all take a vacation. We should all get, um, to go away, all this. Like, you thought I was going to take a vacation with you, meanwhile, you're telling my boyfriend everything I'm saying? Like, that's like me having being fake to my friend and still wanting to hang out like why would you want to hang out with me for being fake to me this whole time i was nothing but nice to her that to that girl like nothing but nice to that girl like now you stuck but now you stuck in the lease with two men dummy but all right this is the end of the video got to go bye okay, sure.